Hi, this is LB from the Dartmouth Student Wellness Center. This is day two of recentering, a seven day yoga challenge. A key part to any yoga class or any yoga practice, along with breath and body, is what we're also doing with the mind. Yoga, which means literally to yoke, um, is really about joining the body with the mind, learning to be present by anchoring our awareness on sensations in the breath, sensations in the body. So this helps strengthen our ability to stay present, to be mindful. It strengthens our mindfulness muscle so that when we leave the mat, we're more able to stay focused, calm, and centered on the things that really matter most to us. So as we flow through this class, I invite you to focus more on where your mind is at rather than your body. Learning to notice the times that your mind drifts away, and it will, either to the past or the future, maybe to ruminating over something, remembering, maybe it's to judging yourself, and to see if you can just gently release those thoughts with not adding more judgment, and just to simply come back to the present moment, feeling your breath, feeling your body. So we'll flow through a nice, well-rounded asana practice with that intention in mind. Hope you enjoy class. See you on the mat. We'll start today's practice in hero's pose and a variation of hero's pose where you draw your shins, your ankles towards one another, your knees towards one another, and you begin to just settle back onto your heels, letting your palms rest open in your lap. As you root down with your shins and the tops of your feet, beginning to allow the spine, the crown of the head to grow towards the sky, softening the shoulders and perhaps you close your eyes for these first couple of moments. And then bringing in the intention of mindfulness, of paying attention to the ebb and flow of your breath along with the ebb and flow of movements within your body. A key part to paying attention mindfully is also bringing in this wing of compassion. So as you pay attention, you'll notice that your mind will eventually drift away or you'll be critiquing yourself. And so the compassion comes in and we use that skillfully by just gently noticing when the mind is on its own accord and without berating ourselves for it. We get to celebrate the awareness that we've had to see that it's drifted away, to see that it's speaking harshly to ourselves and to begin to choose a different way, begin to choose to pay more attention, to let go of the harsh inner critic. I invite you to begin to deepen your breath and if you'd like, you can come into that ujjayi breath, that ocean breath the three to four second inhale through the nose, followed by a three to four second exhale out through the nose, slightly constricting your throat muscles to create that whispery ocean-like sound. Paying particular attention to the sensation and sounds and qualities this breath feels like in your body. And if eyes are closed, I'll invite you to gently open them up and then just take in with awareness the sights you see in front of you, the colors, the images, just staying present to your unfolding experience. And then on your next inhale, coming forward to hands and knees into tabletop posture, bringing wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, and take a few rounds of cat and cow, beginning to really yoke or join your breath with your movement, which really helps strengthen that ability to stay present. Once you notice that you're no longer focusing on your breath or that you can't hear your breath or your movements aren't quite aligned with the breath, that's a nice indication that you might be elsewhere in your mind. And so when you notice this happening, it's this wonderful opportunity to begin again, 
to come back into feeling what these spinal flexions feel like as you breathe in to cow, as you breathe out to cat. Going at a pace that works for you, inhale. And exhale. Inhaling to a neutral spine. And as you're ready, drawing that right foot out long, noticing what's happening in the hips. If that left hip is dropping and re-squaring off the hips, drawing the low belly in, hugging the arm bones towards one another. From here, beginning to walk those left fingertips out. And then hugging the shoulder joint, the hip joint, into their socket so it feels like they're hugging towards your core. Gently dropping the chin so the gaze is looking down. And with this core support, slowly floating the left hand, the right leg, coming into the spinal extension where there's one long line of energy from the fingertips out through that right heel, like you're pressing through a, a wall. Gaze is looking down, low belly drawing in, everything still hugging to the midline, feeling the strength, the stability, honoring where there might be some shakiness, and without judgment, just awareness. One more breath here, inhale. And as you exhale, make a fist with that left hand and draw the left elbow to the right knee, arching the spine, dropping the head. Inhale to extend and open. Exhale to curl. Inhale, extend. Exhale and curl and pause here, really hugging that elbow to the knee, lifting that back heel towards your bum, pressing against that right hand as you arch your spine, drop your head. One more breath here, inhale. And exhale. And then inhale, extend back out. Pause here now. And then lift that right leg, lift that left arm, melt the heart, melt the belly, lift the chin and open the throat, swaying the spine. Beautiful, one more breath. Notice what's happening throughout the whole body. And as you exhale, let the left hand and right knee, see if they can touch down at that same time, paying mindful attention. And exhaling to that cat, Inhaling, cow belly. Exhaling to a neutral spine. And then setting up for the other side. So as you feel ready, inhaling the left leg long. Exhale, walking the right fingertips out. Before lifting up, even hug the right arm bone into the upper bone socket. Hug the left hip into its socket. So already you're feeling some lift and lightness even before lifting. And then from here on an inhale, lift right arm, left leg, lengthen the back of the neck, gaze looking down, extend through that left heel, and then extend through that right thumb as much as every other finger. Draw the low belly in, feel lightness here by rooting down. One more breath in, and as you exhale, making a fist with that right hand, curl that right elbow to the left knee, arching the spine here. Inhale to open and extend. Exhale to curl everything in. Inhale to extend. Exhale, curling in, pausing, arching the spine even more, dropping the head, feeling that left heel reach for your left bum feeling the core maybe heat up slightly the left shoulder becoming a foundation of strength for you and then gently inhale open everything up lift that left leg higher lift the right arm higher melt the heart melt the belly lift the chin open the throat take one more breath inhale and exhale, right hand and left knee touches down at the same time with the awareness. Beautiful, exhale to cat, inhale to cow belly. Exhale to that neutral spine coming into tabletop. From here with your toes tucked under, lift the knees and hover them over the ground about two to three inches coming into this floating tabletop. 
Hug the biceps towards one another, building heat from the inside out. Notice where there's shakiness. Bring some awareness there. Notice where there's strength. Notice what your mind is doing. You take a deep breath to find some calm. And as you exhale, open your knees out wide. Hips come towards your heels as your belly comes between your thighs. Head, forehead drops. Inhale, back into floating table. Exhale, reach back. Inhale to floating table. Exhale, and back. Inhale to floating table, pausing here once again. Exhale your right foot back long. Exhale your left foot back long. High plank. One line of energy from the back heel out through the crown of the head, low belly in, heart still melts here slightly. And then lifting with the power of your hips, feeling like there's an imaginary string tied to your sacrum, that that lifts you up and back into downward facing dog. Okay, so then pedal out your feet. Check in with your foundation. Feet are about a fist distance apart. If you have tighter hamstrings, they're gonna be walked out a little bit wider. Hands are at least shoulder distance apart, fingers spread evenly, wrist creases parallel to the front edge of the mat. Armpits are lifting, arms are lifting away from the mat as the heart melts and reaches towards the legs. Head drops passively. Breath is full, three to four second inhale, three to four second exhale. One more breath here, inhale, and exhale. And inhale, bend your knees, look forward, and step one foot at a time to the front of the mat, and inhale, sweep up, halfway lift, exhale, and fold. Coming into a passive fold here, letting your hands, wrist, palms open towards the sky, knees bent a lot or a little, head shaking yes and no. Head, crown of the head is reaching towards the ground, letting yourself just drape over your legs. And noticing what's happening in your mind here. We have this moment of stillness and rest. Is this the time the mind travels all over the place of the past or the future? If it does, no problem. It's just the nature of the mind. When you notice it's no longer here in this present moment, that's that moment you rejoice and you get to start again. Feeling the back of your legs, feeling your arms, your breath. On your next inhale, rise up halfway once again. And exhale lower. And inhale, bend your knees, sit down deeply, sweep your arms behind you, palms face down. Scoop the tailbone, lift the low belly off the legs. Back of the neck is aligned with the spine, so gaze is probably looking down. Weight is moving towards your heels. And inhale, float your arms to shoulder height, gaze lifts. Exhale, press the air away from you as you stand tall. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, hands together and place your hands behind your heart. Exhale, reach your fingers back to the sky and swan dive out over your legs. Forward fold. Inhale, sweep up halfway. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back long with your left and then your right and hold your plank. So take up the length of your mat. Wrist creases underneath shoulders, Fingers are spread, heels lifting, kneecaps lifting, bum is soft, low belly engaged, tailbone slightly tucked. So one long line of energy from your heels out through the crown of your head. Again, feeling like the neck is one extension with the spine. Taking one more breath here, inhale. And as you exhale, Hinge forward and lower halfway or less, pausing here. And then flip your toes, moving into upward facing dog, pulling your heart forward, straightening your arms. Legs are engaged, 
shoulders pulling back. One more breath here, inhale. And as you exhale, bend the elbows, soften the elbows, half plank. Exhale, full plank, downward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, place the le your weight in your left foot and draw that right leg to the sky. Balance out your hips and your shoulders so they're equal here. Gaze is still looking towards that left shin. And going more for squareness of the hips rather than length and lift of the leg. So really extension rather than height. Taking one more breath, inhale. And as you exhale, draw that right knee towards your chin. Really press against the mat, arch the spine. Inhale, lift up. Two more times, just like that. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, extend. Exhale. Inhale to extend. Keep the foot lifted here and now bend the knee. Lift that right heel towards the sky and begin to open the knee so that right heel is reaching towards your left shoulder. You might even be able to look underneath the left armpit and say, hello to your foot. But notice what's happening in the shoulders. Is the left shoulder dropping? Square that off. Option here to stay right here. It's a lot. Or if you want to continue flipping your dog, you pivot on your left foot, reach that right foot towards the ground, coming to wild thing, lifting the hips and the heart, arching back, feeling lift, feeling expansion. One more breath, inhale. And as you exhale, just reverse everything, coming back into three-legged downward facing dog. And exhale, draw that right knee in and draw your right foot between your hands, coming into low lunge. Extending through the heart, extending through that back heel. And then just begin to float your hands. And then from here, take the arms out behind you. Then exhale, bend that left knee as you rise up into high lunge. Sink into that right knee and exhale, open, warrior two. Gaze looks out over that middle finger. Feeling some groundedness with your feet. Coming back to your breath. And then from here, draw the left hand to meet the right, square off the hips and the shoulders. And exhaling hands to your hips. Drawing the right hip back, left hip forward. Nice. And then sweeping the arms up and over, warrior one. Exhaling hands to heart center. We mindfully begin to pivot on that left heel coming into the high lunge. Reach out through the arms into arrow pose. Right hip drawing back, left hip drawing forward, gaze looking down. And then exhale, hands back to heart center. Step forward with that back foot about four to six inches. Feel some steadiness in that right foot. And then begin to take flight, coming into warrior three, lifting that left leg high, reaching back with that left foot, just like when we were in the tabletop position. Extension comes through the crown of the head, through that left foot. Taking one more breath, inhale, and as you exhale, bend through that right knee, step back along with that left foot, freeing your front foot with your hands. And then draw the right foot back up in the air, three-legged dog. Inhale forward, option for a three-legged plank. Exhale, chaturanga, or all the way to the ground. Inhale to upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. And as you're ready, inhale the left leg to the sky. Again, going for extension rather than height. Square shoulders, square hips, reaching through that left heel. Inhale, and as you exhale, draw the knee in to the nose. Maybe kiss it, 
and inhale to extend out. Exhale to curl in. Inhale to extend. Exhale to curl in. And inhale to extend this time, bending the right knee, lifting, I'm sorry, the left knee, lifting the left ball of the foot to the sky. And exhale, begin to open that knee, reaching the left ball of the foot towards your right armpit. And again, maybe you look underneath your right armpit and can see that foot, that right shoulder is lifting as much as the left. Option here to stay or to continue flipping your dog, coming into wild thing on the other side. Lift the hips, the heart, lift the corners of the mouth. Notice if this side feels any different than the first side. One more breath, inhale. And as you exhale, we're winding it all the way back to three-legged dog. Beautiful, and exhale, draw that left knee in, drop that left foot at the front of the mat and inhale, we'll lunge here, just finding your steadiness, finding length, finding your breath. And gently bending that right knee as you inhale, sweeping your arms up into high lunge. Three to four second inhale, three to four second exhale. And as you're ready, pivoting on your back foot, inhale, open to warrior two. And I'll switch sides so you can get a front view. And then draw the right hand to meet the left. Square off the shoulders. Exhale, hands to hips. And begin to square off the hips. You might have to pivot your back heel out a slightly a little bit more. Right hip forward left hip back and then bend into that left knee inhale arms up to the sky warrior one bend boldly into that left knee and exhale hands to heart center with awareness lift that back heel shoot out through the arms coming into arrow pose left hip draws back right hip draws forward framing the ears with your biceps lifting that back right to inner thigh towards the sky as you exhale hands to heart step your back foot in about four to six inches get your steadiness first and then as you feel ready root down with the inner edge of that front foot and begin to take flight into warrior three. Left hip lifts, right hip drops. Extend through that right heel. Extend through the crown of your head. Draw the shoulders back, low belly in. Taking one more breath, inhale. And as you exhale, soften that front knee, step back long with the right foot. Draw your hands down and inhale back, three-legged dog. Exhale, option for three-legged plank. And to lower to either chaturanga or full plank. Inhale to cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Job well done. Three breaths here. Then as you're ready, inhale, knees to the mat. Exhale, big toes toward touching, knees come out open wide, and draw your hips back to meet your heels. Forehead can rest either on your hands or on the mat, coming into child's pose. Smoothing out your breath. Noticing any heat that you've built. Becoming acutely aware of how much presence it took in order to balance, right? We need to pay attention in order to find balance. Whether it's in warrior three or whether it's in any part of our life, 
It takes that mindful awareness of choosing to check in, to pay attention, coupled with grace and compassion. So let yourself find some ease here. Taking one more breath, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, slowly rise up, walking your hands in close to your legs, closing your knees, so now you're kind of sitting on your heels, letting your sit to one side as you sweep your legs out in front of you. Let yourself shift to the front middle of the mat as you bend your knees. And reach your fingers out long, drawing your fingertips first behind your knees. Walk your toes in, lift your heart up towards the knees. Inhale, lift up to boat pose. Either knees can be bent or straight. Fingers can support your legs or you can open up. Lifting through the heart, spreading through the toes. And then exhale, slowly lowering everything down. Coming to the mat. Taking a deep breath in, open, letting it out with an open mouth sigh. And then hugging your right knee in and then your left knee. And then letting the soles of the feet find the earth as you open your arms like a T. And exhale your knees towards the left. And as your gaze looks out over your right shoulder. Smoothing out your breath. Feeling the pulsation in your body. Choosing to pay attention. And lifting knees back to center, gaze back to center, and just feel yourself gently come to the other side. Inhaling to center once again. And then bringing your feet hip distance apart, and I'll just invite you to draw the right ankle over the left knee and draw the right knee away from you. Just a really gentle, easy hip opener to, to close us out. If you want to deepen this in any way, you're welcome to lift the left leg off the ground and interlace your fingers behind the left hamstring, still drawing that right knee away from you. Depends just how much sensation you want to work with. And as you're ready, whatever variation you came into, let yourself come out of it and then just gently switch sides, knowing, noticing if one side feels a little bit different than the other side. Nice. And then as you're ready, unwind and let your fingertips find one another over your head heel toe the inner edges of your feet towards one another and opening your knees letting the soles of the feet come to touch and the fingertips touch making a bind with your feet letting this final posture of openness be one of surrendering of lightness of opening to possibility You're welcome to stay here for Shavasana. Or you're also welcome to extend your legs out long and bring your arms beside you if you prefer that. Stay here. 
for as long as you have time for it, even if it's a minute more, even if it's 10 minutes more. Give yourself this time to let your practice, your efforts integrate in wholly with your body. And whenever it's ready, you can gently draw your knees to your chest and let yourself rock up to a comfortable seated posture. Coming into the seat of meditation. And so as we train our mind in meditation, which is really part of it is all that mindful awareness. We're doing that in our yoga practice as well. We're training our bodies to be supple, to be able to sit, to breathe, to pay attention. If you'd like, you bring your hands to heart center, feel palm against palm. Become fully aware of your body and who you are. I invite you to take these qualities out with you. Pay more attention so that you can move from a place of automatic reaction to a place of wise and compassionate response. From my heart to yours, namaste. Namaste.